Salt Lake City Mayor Erin Mendenhall delivered her State of the City address tonight, sharing how her administration will not only manage COVID-19, but help the community prosper. Mayor Mendenhall joins us tonight to talk about those plans. Thanks for being with us, Mayor. A big announcement tonight was the city's first innovation department, new term for many. Explain more deeply what that will be and how it will help the community thrive. Sure, I don't think it's far from anyone's characterization of government to say that government is very siloed, generally speaking, and it's not necessarily a dynamic and a flexible collaborative environment. We need government to work more like that. We need the government to work more like the small businesses that are thriving in our community and the nonprofit sector. And the innovation department is a way for us to intentionally bring comfort with change basically to the table. So we're going to be looking at how we function and how we can function better within the city among departments, but also how the city can break down barriers that currently keep some of our residents from being able to comfortably access, easily access, or even have the language skills to access Salt Lake City government. So they have a big task ahead of them and their beginning list is already quite long. Now, Mayor, you also talked about a new renter's choice ordinance. Affordable housing is a big deal right now for many people. Explain what that ordinance is and what you're hoping it'll do. Yeah, we're still working on it. We're working with folks in the rental uh, industry in the state of Utah to make sure that we get it as right as we can when we bring it to the city council. But even when we create affordable housing, sometimes the biggest hurdle is just having enough cash in hand to put that deposit down in addition to your month's first month's rent, perhaps your first and month's last month's rent in addition to the deposit. And we want to be able to still give uh, landlords and, and those renting to folks the security they need when they sign that contract with the renter, but also give the renter some options of how they can afford to get into the apartment, even if they can afford that monthly payment. The, uh, the security deposit may keep them from getting in. Any indication what the city council is thinking about that right now? Are you, are you optimistic it'll get passed? Well, there are some surprises that are always in the State of the City address, and this it was probably one of them to the City Council. But I know the City Council, I come from the City Council, and I go to all their meetings. They are very open to seeing how we can make housing more dynamic and more accessible in Salt Lake City. So I'm hopeful that they will welcome this idea and work with the community to make sure we get it right. Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall, thank you so much for joining us live tonight. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks, Mayor.